Hi there, Sagittarius. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl. We're looking at July 13 through 19. This is one of those weeks, Sagittarians, when you may just want to throw your hands up in the air and say, you know what? Everyone's crazy and I give up. That's because there are six major players in water signs, four of them in Cancer, which is the sign of the mother. So it just makes it very difficult to get things done and to deal with people who are already difficult because people are going to be a lot more emotional and sensitive and, you know, sometimes, let's be honest, you tend to say things and put your foot in your mouth and hurt people's feelings even though you don't mean it. So if you're one of those Sagittarians, just be very, very careful today and this week that you are, you know, especially sensitive around <clears throat> anyone born under the sign of Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces because it really is an emotional pressure cooker of a week. Now, at this point, we can only imagine what's going to happen when the NASA uh, spacecraft comes back after circling Pluto for nine and a half years. Of course, Pluto was the planet that's no longer the planet, but it's been collecting data and it's going to come back. And it's always interesting to hear what they say about other planets. The emotional climax of the week comes on Wednesday, July 15, when six planets, the Sun, Moon, Mercury and Mars in Cancer, a new moon that is, Saturn in Scorpio and Neptune in Pisces all gather together in emotional water signs. Watch out, as I said, for people getting upset over silly things, for people crying, for especially if you're in a, a leadership position, you may find that people are tugging on your heartstrings. They've got a sick child or sick dog. They're, you know, they've got to get home to their grandmother or, you know, all sorts of things that people use, emotional blackmail. And whether or not you're going to fall for it, whether or not you're going to just, as I said, throw up your hands and say, you know what, let's just, this one week, because it really will be one of those weeks when you will wonder why everyone is so sensitive. No matter what you say, it's the wrong thing. So just be very careful. If in doubt about saying something, don't say it at all. And, you know, if in doubt about sending out an email or a text, don't press that send button because if you hurt someone's feelings this week, it'll take a long time for you to regain their trust because they will be deeply wounded by whatever it is you say. Now, with four planets in Cancer, the sign of the mother, that's going to be transiting your eighth house of joint resources and investments. So money that you share with other people real estate dealings, investments, you know, if you own a block of land with somebody, if you own a car, if you own stocks and shares, anything that you own with other people that's money related could come up as an emotional hot button issue this week. And so you've got to be very careful that you don't imply in any way that you feel like someone's not doing enough of their job to make sure that things are going well or that something's not working and is there some sort of embezzlement going on and you will say it as a joke and they will say they will feel like you mean it the list <clears throat> goes on about what people are going to get upset about and with Saturn in Scorpio your 12th house of past karma you could find that someone from your past an ex someone you worked with someone you lived with calls you or texts you with some sort of emotional emergency and whether or not you're equipped to deal with that this week is entirely on you. You may bite off more than you can chew. And then Neptune in Pisces is going to be transiting your domestic zone. So you could have trouble or emotional drama with the people that you share time and space with, whether that's roommates, whether that's your partner, whether that's uh, drama at home, maybe your parents are fighting or your siblings are fighting or you're all fighting. So it's just one of those weeks when being a Sagittarius and being the sort, if you're the sort of Sagittarius that just says what's on your mind without holding back, it might be worth holding back this week. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Have a great week. Be kind to yourself, Sagittarians. And I'll speak to you again next week.